How's everybody doing today? It's fine morning. Or almost afternoon. <laughs> You're excused. Good morning, mister. Good morning. Yeah. Whoa, no. <laughs> I guess that's the right time. See, so, yeah, I'm over here. There's a secret here. There's also a thing I can sell the uh, gator for you for. Hey, why is this happening? Why is what happening? Is there a boom solo? Please, sir, will you help the poor? Sir, will you help the poor? Easy there. Hungry boy was sent to Hartley. Hey, you're selling that belt? Okay, let's take a look at it. Hope you're not expecting much for it. Nah, not really. You again. Can you spare a little? I show can. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> Well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner... The one with the green door? Well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hmm. Mister? Hello again. That was quick. Hello, sir. How's everything here? Hello, sir. get you today? Hello, but honey. Hi there. My grandmother got mugged yesterday. They're actually... Hey there, mister. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? <laughs> you timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. <laughs> well, you just let me know if I can help at all. Yeah, be quiet for a few moments. Hmm. 
Nice looking dresser. Wrong dresser. Something don't seem right. Who's back here? What are you doing? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just a no. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door, now! Oh, okay, okay, just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. I don't believe you for some reason. I'm really not a bad man. Yes, I should have. Somebody don't like slavery. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Now, now don't worry. I'm on your side. ¿Quién eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. You didn't let me brother, know you were going on your own. I did. Arthur, I texted Arthur you. Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very... I angry. did it. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers. Come. Let's um, go get something to ten eat. Ten minutes ago. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here, payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. My reputation going up. What type of cat are you? American Dummit saw a cat. I don't think so. Okay, man, girl. This is someone I don't haven't seen in a while.
I'm guessing he's in the bar. Yep, there he is. Partner? Hello. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars <laughs> a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm -hmm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <laughs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm. I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but hmm. the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's very deep. You say so. Oh, <laughs> trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. <laughs> So I had the right way, just didn't go in the wrong right door. <laughs> no, there's another stranger there. Might as well meet it. Can I help you? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Sport Gorgonos. 
Well, mm -hmm. if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in road. Rose, that's over here, ain't it? But there's another secret. Wait, what? Oh, that's that a monk, ain't it? Well, I'm you are? I'm good and sober. and wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a, uh, hat, perhaps? No, uh, no. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Well, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. A wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do mm. you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Hmm. I heard Gerald was caught with another woman. He needs a wife and Kotla, no less. So what are we having for this one? Well, I gotta go help the priest. The priest. Otherwise, I don't like content. But I still think I need a. Uh, Go over there and look. Eventually. And how are you today? You are ready to Hello, sir. Please. Please. It is 
Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! He just left the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank. Thank you. Hmm. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, hey you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Really? Well, that didn't work.
frustrating. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother mm. Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy mm -hmm. your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Hmm. That'll be the Indian that... I have a bounty now on me, really? That woman put a bounty on me. Just because I knew her. My horse is somewhere. There she is. I see her coming around the corner. There's my girl. See you there. Give me a minute, please. Glad to see you on the up and up. What can I do for you? Getting rid of the bounty. I could have just went and paid the bounty and the cops would have left me alone probably. Jump in a wagon. Arthur! Hi there. Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. She has all their attention. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. My God, he's a shy. Whatever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than, than me than the choices you what make what choice did i have did i ever have oh i know 
You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come on, Dad. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh. Filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... Hmm. It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. It's foggy in this town. That's what the problem is. Hard to see. This is the place. Why do I got a gun out? Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> you can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <sighs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady at your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no such thing. You get job. away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. 
Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. Wait, Arthur. Any closer to his father. Just smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. <laughs> I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Mm. He's heading across the road. No, love is in the air. <laughs> I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Give me a band for his hair and I'm keeping the beard, thank you very much. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't lose sight of him. It's sort of hard to wear a bright red shirt. Good. Red uh, shirt. I'm just glad you're here. Or jacket. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a I've gift to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Mm. Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You probably killed someone. Oh, would you like that? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. I'm chasing after it. What a hard to do on foot. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. Get back here. You 
stop right now. Pull over. Hey, at least everybody's alive. He made. Where are you taking me? In the middle of the bayou. How about that? Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, it's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Here, yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with! I don't think we care. Somebody's gonna pay for this! Let's see, my horse is... base shop I don't want that one's there where's oh head back in town my horse left me forgot how to use the map for a moment there. Okay. 
my girl. back with it. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. <sighs> You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. <laughs> How about here on the right? Sure. After you. The greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not? Are you in a rush, Arthur? The greatest show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of No, but he's sitting there with a grin on his face. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please mm. welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Make a move, what the heck? Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. <laughs> Mm. 
Really? Yes, I'm bothered. likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women you are about to do both <laughs> miss antoinette sanserino no stop it look at that the heck I ain't sure <laughs> what the hell is going on. Right. Don't play with fire, kids. <laughs> you can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. <laughs> Fire hip toes. I'm more worried about her health. <laughs> the heck. You imagine doing that every day? I can't think of anything worse. Uh, the heck. place can go up. Again, a little close for comfort.
but uh, no, she ain't. I'm concerned. So many curtains. Oh, there's a van up there. truly one to bring home to mother uh, it is no. said that there is a place in france where the naked ladies dance i have been there prepare for the body braziers of the petit flaneur in gay paris gay paris what the hell? I'm guessing this is what they used to do. It's like a ballet or something. A very fat theater. now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> that just had some problems. My like, life. I was there to sit here and watch that much longer. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Hmm. Love is in the air. The Indian mission, and there's what that is. Hello, sir. Yeah, 
Cuckoo's on her way! I see ya! Smooth, my girl. Is that blue summer? At least the bushes are actually bushes. One game I played, the bushes were solid as a wall. That was ridiculous. I'll pass. Another secret. The heck? Oh, that's no. What's gotten into you? Me? Why are you being like this towards me? Why are you doing? Well, apparently I can. What did I do to you? Can't get off boy. Oh, Why are there. you taking this out on me? I ain't taking nothing out on anybody. up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Uh-huh. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the Aiden breathing. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very uh -huh. good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good barber? Uh-uh. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's you get ingenious. shot before you give me a haircut. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense mm -hmm. is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent past. Uh -huh. you, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. I'm about ready to get rid of you. You're taking me to the dreaded barber. I wanted one, but I don't want to get one right now. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. 
Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. Uh, no. Uh. Make him look like a prince, sir. Oh, I got it max length already. Right. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Dude, you don't look good without the beard no more. Oh, eight out of ten, so I got I can go one longer. Hmm. So that's when it gets long. I don't want to do it, but I ain't gonna do it. There, very smart. All you do with comes here. Let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. They're trying to make his beer go away. I can understand the hair being pulled back. Grand Corrigan, sir. Where's my hat? Oh, look at you. From Toad? The Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win any up there on the horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. Saint Ham. Oh, so, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Hope oh, nothing. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Hmm. The winner of Star Kick. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon for me here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Hmm. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. And yet he can't get a ponytail like a friend there. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne.
I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. Uh -huh. The tables are wait. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Really? Now where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry boys, I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go then. Hmm. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. I'll, uh, raise. Call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. 
Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. <laughs> well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Got a lot of money out of Please, these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Mm. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Yes, you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? In the face. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably mm. involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here. You're gonna die here. You want a bet? Don't get shot.
Ah, yeah. You gotta go. Come on. I had to deal with that guy, isn't it? Dude. <laughs> well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Another cutscene. Read all about it. Three thousand chain, my share with seven hundred and fifty. Okay, girl. Been a while. Now what? Oh yeah, that's for the moonshine thing, ain't it? I'm where? Hmm. Oh. Kill me! Oh. Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? Not really. No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes. You meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Uh, yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. I feel like I'm playing with like toys. Remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hamlet. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man well i'm not sure about that there all gone for you <laughs> yes you see what he does now bring the boat back to the dock that sure was something but i'm not sure what if anything was proven here the, the, the demonstration's not over yet any fool can explore the sitting dock next he will show you the moving dots Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of harm. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. The steam train, the telegraph machine. Oh, where the mother see that? All right, I learned. I made a mistake. Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> money. It's always about money. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of harm. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not relying on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but... Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Even little boats can sink, okay? Please. The mines, they're magnetized, remember? Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. 
As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. <laughs> um, and I hope you will forgive my... Wait a minute. Where is my horse? What? Girl, what are you doing in here? Let's see. I gotta go talk to the Indian still. Then I gotta go do something for her. Hmm. But there's also this. The strangers, I think, are basically like optional side mi side missions to help you get along more done in the story. Hello? I think. Ah. Hey, Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Nice to see you again, sir. Did you change your mind about donating by any chance? We could really use your support to improve the lives of our veterans and their families. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is yeah, your yeah. name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. So that's all I had to do? Let's see, I still gotta do this mission. Also gotta go back to Rhodes. I guess there's still more of the country and stuff I gotta unlock as well. Or oh, Valentine was. Oh, so I did do it. Finally. It, it got us, so I did do it. You do all the guns, so I go to kindly with the findings. Um, that's in Valentine, but I think I'll do that in the next one. I want to see how much I've actually done real quick, though. So I got 40 from last time. It's 42, so I done 2.1 percent already. Which is good. I'll eventually have. A lot more done. I'd hope. But I'm gonna end it here, folks. I hope y'all liked it. If you did, click the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Wolf Lovers out. <laughs>